Here's a video of the the new arm. Weighs two and a half pounds. Has our activation activation switch here. It's a very nice size, and yet the arm shoots out 24 inches. That's done by just activating it with the activation switch there. It can be held in different ways. You could use it like this. A person could have a mitt in this hand, so when the person's shooting at, punching at the mitt, you fire this at where the opening is at on the trainee. Or you could just hold it in one arm like this with this other one in your left hand and just go like this, move it around. Anyway, you get the picture. Now, the length of this punch, though, is somewhat deceiving. If I were to go like this, kind of like in a boxing position, and this is my fist, and I'm like this, and I come out with just my fist, it's not fully extended. What this is mimicking is a, the punch with the shoulder turned to it. So it's like a... It's like that, like you're out of range and a boxer just coming in range like that. And you'll see from another video that the times on that, uh, it's very challenging. Even at 50 PSI, this will shoot out in 230 milliseconds uh, uh, for 24 inches. Boxers don't move in that fast. So it's, you can make it to where it really mimics a, a human speed. But the point of this thing is pretty much is to go to the extreme, extreme that people aren't used to. This way, they're doing overspeed training. Overspeed training is doing something faster than the brain has ever experienced before. This way, when the regular speed comes along again, it seems slower, and their body, their eyes are like seeing it, quote unquote, in a slow motion. And I know from using the the boxing robot for years. I'm, I can't say any more honestly, although it is coming fast still, it doesn't seem intimidating anymore because your eyes and your body have gotten used to it. So therefore you start to react faster. So anyway, that's the principle behind the thing and now you get to see the arm what it's like on the latest part of it. Thanks.